My name is Ross Norman. My wife, uh, Willa, and I purchased a home in the area in 1998. We were living in Australia at the time. Willa's a loyal Cape Bretoner, and uh, she wanted to spend a lot more time back in Canada, was part of the deal. I can't recall exactly when we went to our first performance at the Playhouse, but it was probably 99 or 2000. And ever since then, we've been regular supporters and attendees at all the wonderful shows there. In 2005, I retired from my work in Australia. We decided to spend more time in Nova Scotia. Sue Patillo, who was on the board at the time, approached me to join the board and I became treasurer in 2007. In 2010, I also joined the board of the Sir Christopher Ondaatje Theatre Foundation. And the purpose of the foundation is to raise funds and invest them to create a long-term endowment that will ensure the future prosperity of the Playhouse. Every dollar donated to the foundation by anybody is eligible for matching grants from Heritage Canada. Almost 30% of our growing portfolio has been funded by the matching grant program, which is fabulous. Playhouse has been, as most of you know, the cornerstone of life in Chester for almost 83 years. It started life in 1938 as the Canaric Theatre, a movie theatre. Any long-term Chesterite you speak to has some sort of story about their time at the Playhouse. And I'd like to tell you about how the Chester community rallied around the Playhouse when the 2008 global financial crisis hit. That year, every one of our loyal sponsors told us that they had to withdraw their funding for the next 12 months because of the uncertainty caused by the crisis. Sponsorship represented about 20% of our income, so this was a major problem for the Playhouse. At the same time, our long-established and highly successful after-school acting program attendance began to dwindle to the point where we had to actually shut it down for one term. We had rented a building on Duke Street to conduct the program, and the reason we did that is that old theatre was so leaky and uninsulated that the costs were too high to run uh, these programs in the winter and the shoulder seasons. The kids would walk down from Chester Middle School to the building or mum and dad would pick them up and drive them down. We would have anywhere from 15 to 25 kids for every session in this very popular activity. Now, the reason for the kind was uh, in attendance was competition from other community activities that were emerging and the cost. And after brainstorming the issue, it was decided to approach the Chester Middle School and see if there was some grounds for collaboration to revive uh, the after-school program. The school was immediately enthusiastic. They provided space in the school at no charge, so we were able to significantly reduce our costs. And we had wonderful support from the teaching staff. Enrollment rose rapidly and uh, the terrific program flourished. And by the way, every one of our loyal sponsors returned the following year. So that's the support we received from the Chester community. We're so lucky to live in this wonderful community. We are blessed to have so many uh, public facilities. Uh, but the best thing I think really is the community spirit and the way people here uh, support local businesses and particularly gems like the Chester Playhouse. And I would like to give a shout out to the current Playhouse board. They have done an amazing job with this renovation. It's going to be state of the art, but still delightfully down home. The experience you're going to have is worth coming along to see what's going on because it'll make you return for many years to come.